Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. It is a new week. It is Monday. It is 9.36 in the morning and I want to take a nap. <laughs> I literally just got back in town from a well-spent weekend in New Orleans. I was celebrating. Y'all can't talk. I was celebrating a friend's... Um, Soon to come baby. My friend Amanda, she had her baby shower this weekend in New Orleans. Um, you know, got to kiki with some friends and just hopped back on a flight um, this morning. It's Monday. Um, you know, just to get back to work. So, why is that right there? We'll see how this week, you know, plays out. I think I go back to flying on Thursday. So, yeah. I would lay down just to take a little bit of a snooze because, of course, I've been up since like 4.30 because I took an early flight out. Um, Did y'all know Southwest is flying out of um, Intercontinental Airport in Houston now, the bigger airport, not the smaller one? <laughs> Amazing. So I was able to hop on the Southwest flight. That was nice. Um, But I do have a 10 a.m. lease consultation that I need to do. So... No point in napping. And then um, I think my week really this week is going to be a little chill on both like the real estate side of things and just life period, which is nice because I've just been so extremely busy lately. Um, with real estate, sometimes it's a lot of go, 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 go because I'm showing a lot of clients. Um, currently, all my clients... Um, are pretty much under contract, yes. So I won't have to start showing houses again until um, the first weekend in May, so that's nice. All my work is just like computer-based, making sure contracts are blah, 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 done, 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 done. And then we go back to the skies, which y'all already know. We're not vlogging that, so y'all keep asking. And y'all, we're just we're just not vlogging it. It's, it's just as simple as, we just ain't doing it. All right. Anyways, my phone is buzzing, so let me go. Y'all, I'm hungry. Still haven't taken a nap. That probably won't even happen. Oops. Ooh, let's see. House still has not sold. <laughs> That's an issue, but whatever. We'll talk about that in the um, actual real estate vlog. Um, me, on the other hand, what? <laughs> Nothing. Um, I'll make me a smoothie. Yeah. Uh, I know I had berries. rock hard let's make a smoothie I'm trying y'all I'm really trying with the slimming and trimming that we can hey Aspen say hi come down to your level say hi say hi look right here okay he's not talking this morning y'all while I was gone over the weekend my dining room table came so here's my dining room table. <laughs> it's like, I want to take it out and look at it because I'm excited and just really see how big it is. Like, this looks massive. But, of course, it's just in a box. Um, but then I'm like, do I really want to waste all that energy opening it up and all of that? Right? Is that what we're going to do? Probably not. So... But you know, I want to just, I don't know. And then my bar stools came the other day ago. They're in, don't mind this house, y'all. It's a mess, or the garage. They're in this box. 
mother bought these bar stools for their new house. They're really cute. All right, I think she bought like six of these from, where are they from? TJ Maxx, because the, the island at their new house is massive. I only bought two bar stools because I only need two. So. Hey puppy, come over here. <laughs> come here. All right, so that's that. I'm probably not gonna open those boxes until I actually move. I still need to order dining room chairs to go around the dining room table. I ordered the couch last week or the week before, but that won't actually be in until like mid-May, late May. And I move in to the apartment May 8th or something like that. So I'm gonna be without a couch for a while. So I kinda need to figure out what I'm gonna do about that situation as well. <laughs> what are we gonna do, y'all? What are we gonna do? Um, anyways, smoothie. Mm. I'm sure this doesn't taste like Smoothie King, but whatever. Let's see. It tastes funny. Maybe I put milk in here, but it's flavored vanilla milk, which isn't bad, but it just, it almost tastes like oatmeal. I'm gonna drink it. Um, what's in my smoothie? Like I can hear y'all asking questions. It's my same old smoothie that I've been making since I was like on keto, which I need to get back on. Um, berries, avocado. I put like half milk, half water. Um, chia seeds and a little bit of I'm out of stevia so I put coconut sugar in it um, and that's it so anywho I just called AT&T also to set up the internets for the apartment I'm doing all of this like now because y'all know I'm about to go fly and when I'm flying I'm just I retired and nothing gets done um, but I don't, I don't understand how the megabytes, megapixels, not megapixels, that's not right. I guess it's internet megabytes, so you can get like 35, 60, or 100, or the speeds or whatever. Can somebody, can somebody explain to me how that works? Or no, those weren't, those weren't the speeds, I'm lying. I think those are the prices. Um, but... All I know is I got the fastest speeds. I just don't know if I necessarily need it that fast. It is just gonna be me. We have AT&T at the house now and I hate it. I like, I feel like it just, it lags. It's always like trying to connect, but I don't have an option I'm at the apartment because if I did, I would have went with Xfinity, um, aka Comcast, I don't know what y'all might call it. Um, I've always loved Xfinity, but yeah, I don't. Let me see. Let me see. Internets shop now. So for $35, you get speeds up to 300 Mbps. What does that stand for? And then for $45, you get speeds up to 500 letters. And then, and then for $60 a month, you get AT&T fiber internet connection of a thousand blah, blah, blah. And that also includes HBO Max. That's for $60 a month. That's what I chose just because I, I want the best, you know, for whatever functionalities. But do I really need it though, is the question. That's what I wanna know. Download maximum typically 
940 megabytes. Is that what MBPS stands for? Whatever. Y'all help me out. If I really don't need that much. So what do I do daily? I'm not a gamer. Clearly, I watch TV. I'm on my phone. I'm on my computer. I'm on my tablet. I upload and download often. So what do I really, really need? If I don't need to spend $60 a month, let me know. Thank you. Back to work, y'all. <laughs> Before we get back to work, let's check on Din Din. Are you okay? You didn't even come downstairs. You need a haircut, that's what you... Din. You sleepy? Oh, what's wrong, my big girl? What's wrong, mama? I think she's fine because she definitely jumped on me when I got home. Maybe you were just sleeping. You were sleeping? You were sleeping? Y'all see how much different of a dog she is? If this was me at Aspen right now, he would be growling at me. Oh, okay. You're okay. I just realized, I was like, dang, Den didn't even come downstairs. Y'all think I'm lying about that growling thing? Watch. Watch. So you on camera, you not gonna growl? Really? He, he's showing out for y'all. That's all that is. I'm going back to work. <laughs> all right, y'all. I had a change of heart. I do want to open this. Um, I just want to see what color it is. So it is a very nice dark espresso. Okay. And then pretty gold legs. All right. Oh, what's this? Is this more table? What is that? There's more to the table? I had to pull out the the Wayfair to look at the table again, but yeah. I know y'all kind of, it's the glare, but okay, yeah, that's that piece and then that piece and then that's what the table's supposed to look like. Alright, now we just gotta buy some chairs. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Oh. Goodness gracious, I just woke up, brushed my teeth, was real motivated to like go to the park and work out. And then Siri told me it was 57 degrees. So I'm going to wait till it gets like 65-ish degrees and then go to the park and work out. But I started binge watching this show yesterday on Netflix. It's called The Baker and the Beauty. It's about a Cuban family. And one of the son falls in love with a celebrity and just, it's really cute. Um, so I'm going to watch one more episode of that. <laughs> and then, and then today I'm going to go check up on all my clients' new construction properties and just go walk by those and see how they're going and take pictures and send them to people and all that stuff. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm on episode seven. <laughs> all right y'all so time got away from me as usual this is why i've not been disciplined with my workouts but it's almost midday like it's almost noon and um i'm just now getting ready to leave the house i was doing work on the computer but of course the house is still up for sale 
you don't have any schedule showing today but you just never know so i definitely don't want to leave the house um in disarray i mean not that it is you know when your house is being showed or up on the market you usually try to keep it in order but you know there's things like this hanging around um you know this so oh, this is my mother's yeah how about so my mom <laughs> it's a little crazy my mother um started working at home depot i don't even know when maybe last summer sometime i don't know just to kind of give herself something to do because in the beginning of COVID things kind of get a little wonky or whatever so she started working there Monday through Wednesday or something like 5 to 10 a.m. you know and my mother hasn't had a W-2 career my entire life and I'll be 33 in uh in June so that tells y'all, or at least, basically, at least, at least a solid 30 years, right? So she went and got this job, and I was like, girl, what you doing that for? I'm sweeping, just, you know, get the house in order. Went and got that job, and I was like, I don't know how long you gonna last. So anyways, so anywho, I woke up this morning, and she was here. It's Tuesday. She's supposed to be at work. And I'm like, why are you here? What are you doing here? She was like, oh, I quit. <laughs> She's like, I gave them my notice. I told you I was going to give them my notice. And I was like, I recall you mentioning something about, you know, being tired and not getting enough sleep because, of course, real estate is busy. And y'all know, mother's a realtor. So she ended up quitting. And she's like, I was just too tired waking up at 5 in the morning and then working all day on real estate and going to bed at 10. And then, you know, so anyways. She's done with that job. She lasted a lot longer than I thought she would have, honestly. Um, I was like, that's cute. You went and got you a little job. But now she's she's done with that lifestyle. I, I was like, well, now you see why I'm tired all the time. And she's always asking me, like, the days I come back home from flying, like, why I sleep most of the day away. It's like, flying is exhausting. And then real estate is truly nonstop. Like, just because I'm not, like, out in the streets, it's always something going on, you know, clients to be called, people to keep in touch with, documents to be signed, you know, so. I was like, good job, Mom. You worked a little W-2 job. You know, that was cute. And I get back to your regular life. <laughs> Anyways, I can't sweep with one hand, so let me stop vlogging and sweep the rest of this house. All right, y'all, I'm ready for the day. OOTD, this little dress, well, it's little now. It used to be baggy once upon a time, but y'all know what happens. You spread and things get tight. Um, yeah. Oh, where is this dress from? It's not Zara, which is a surprise, right? Um, I think I got this from Nordstrom's Rack years ago y'all like maybe three three years ago or so so and i just have on some zara sandals just trying to keep it cute and casual today oh. all right y'all just stopped by house number one the lighting is it's real bright outside um but if y'all want more details on the houses y'all know what to do go watch a real estate vlog on to house number two y'all it is hot out here in these Texas streets today. This morning, what I say was a little chilly. Now the sun is out and it's beaming. I'm on my way to um, the third property that I have under contract right now to go check that one out. I just got a notification from CNN that the jury has um, decided on a verdict for the um, Derek Chauvin case, the man that murdered George Floyd. <sighs> that's how I feel about that y'all like so anyways and I'm kind of hungry that smoothie just just 
it did a little some. I didn't get like a meal replacement one. I just got like a, a a different one, so it wasn't necessarily as you know full of substance that I probably needed. So I'm probably gonna stop and get something to eat um, after I go look at this property and then head to the fourth one. And that's it. Those are the four that I have under contract. Yeah, yeah. So let's keep rolling. Look, look at the sun just beaming and glowing like ugh, that melanin just does something I tell you yes. <laughs> let me tell y'all something <laughs> usually 9 out of 10 times I am very good at professionalism like I can turn it off and on I was sitting there in Nicole's desk the last house that I just went to the sales agent for the new um the, the builder we've built a great rapport relationship anyways I'm sitting here we're just talking about real estate and the state of the market and you know blah 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 and the CNN notification popped up on my phone I clicked that button all I saw was guilty and I lost all composure y'all I said all kind of things the tears started flowing and Nicole was like Alexa are you okay and curse words came out my mouth like joyous curse words because I, I I be telling y'all I have a potty <laughs> I have a potty mouth but I do not curse on my vlogs I would try very hard not to do that and I was like they voted him they I was like they found him guilty on all counts on all all counts, y'all. <sighs> wow. And she right along with me. She was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and I was like, really, Nicole? That's how you feel? She was like, yes. I was just like, oh, thank God. Like, sh like ugh, I can go on a tangent about this, y'all. I'm really going to try not to on the vlog. But thank God just it's not even really justice because we shouldn't even be fighting for justice over something like like why are we why 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 are we fighting for justice for a man's life that should have never been taken like why do we have to continuously go through that I am glad that they are holding Chauvin accountable for his actions and I pray that if a situation like this ever arises again, which clearly it just happened last week, another officer has shot and killed another black man. Um, I hope that these officers are still held accountable for their actions. Whew. So happy about that, y'all. So, so happy. I'm back home, y'all, and literally... When I was like pulling into the driveway, an agent called me and asked if they could come preview the house because she was driving by. So I was like, you can come, but I'm here and I'm not putting the dogs away. <laughs> so she came and previewed it. Hopefully she's going to bring her clients back. She said they have a big family, so they feel like the kitchen is a little small. She said they have six kids. So that she thinks the kitchen might be a little too small for them. And then, of course, the major road. We'll see. Whatever. <laughs> Look at them for y'all. <laughs> that is literally where she lays all day on top of the table so she can see over the fence. Crazy dog. We got the house. Oh, at the new house? Yes. And lights. And lights? Yeah, light fixtures. Uh, oh, light fixtures. Lights tomorrow. Oh. More we had to get out the house. The um, lady came back with her clients. I completely forgot. <laughs> they pulled up and I was still in bed watching uh, CNN. So yeah, you brought. Where's the dog? Oh, oh there he is. Brought the dog to the park. Mommy thinks Denver's gonna try to escape, but she's not. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice day out, y'all. It's a blessed day. I was wrong. 
my mule's right. Denver went straight underneath the dang on fence, ran across the road. <sighs> and then there's evidence all over because she just muddy. She's such a dog. Good Aspen. Y'all, it's been a mentally exhausting day. And then, like, where, like, where are my legs supposed to go? Because the dogs, Denver had to stay outside for a couple of hours to dry off after she got her bath from running in the mud and then they come and do this there's the white one he blends in but he's here too anyways it's been i mean just after the whole Derek chauvin um all counts guilty conviction or whatever <laughs> Literally, cops shot and killed a 16-year-old girl. A cop. A white male cop shot and killed a black 16-year-old girl. Like, minutes after the um, the jury's verdict was read on Derek Chauvin. So, it's just like... It's just a lot. Like... It's a lot to take in in that whole situation. Regardless of what anybody's doing, regardless of color, the cops are there to protect and serve, I guess. Is that their motto or whatever? Not kill unless their lives are particularly in danger, right? This little girl. It's... It... Um... I don't even know. It's, it's sad. But she was 16. And she lost her life today. <sighs> but you know as they say. It's just another day of being black in America. So tomorrow I think I'm going to take. A. Um, a mental health day. I had already planned on like going to get my nails done, but I think I'm gonna go turn my mental health day into like a self care day just because I don't want to watch the news. I don't want to listen to the radio talk about it. Like, I don't, I just don't want to be tapped into it because it's, it's too much. It's honestly just too much. So, I'm gonna go get my nails done. I, um, Book the massage. I might go to the chiropractor. Um, I'm gonna try to stay away from the mall. <laughs> Usually, you know, shopping is self care, but I don't need to be spending money on you know that. Um, go work out. You know, just do things just to kind of as much as possible. Just not focus on. The real world and just the situations that just seem to continuously happen to my fellow African Americans. Like, I just don't get it. Like, I don't get it. I'm like, I, I, I don't get it. I, I, I do not understand. So, hopefully these dogs will give me room to, like, actually get comfortable on my own bed. Look at this. Like, I can try to get my foot all up under her and she will not move. Denver, can you scoot over to that side? Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh. <laughs> good night, y'all. Good morning, good people. This is outfit of the day. It's like 40, high 40s. Low 50 degrees outside today in Houston, Texas. So I just have on a little lightweight, you know, outfit or whatever. Same sandals from yesterday. I know that's contradictory, but I, don't, I just, whatever. 
Um, I need to get out of the house. We have two showings this morning, one at 10, one at 10.45. Um, so, yeah, I'm just so ready for somebody to put a contract on this house so these showings and all of that can just halt. It's, it's annoying. Um, just having to keep <laughs> the house super tidy and whatever, whatever. What does the back look like? Whatever it looks like is how it's going to look like for the rest of the day. No makeup because, well, just because I don't need it. Um, but no makeup because we are hopefully getting a massage today. I need to text my masseuse Byron to make sure that he saw the appointment because I booked it so late last night. He has a full-time job, so sometimes he doesn't see it. <laughs> so I need to text him to make sure last time he didn't see it. Um, I'm also going to go to the chiropractic. The chiropractic and get my back popped. Um, oh, forgot to take my trash out, but let's just kind of hide it over there because I don't feel like walking back upstairs with the trash can. Um, and y'all know what else I did? I um, went to New Orleans this weekend and I wore my good black bra and my good black spanks. And I think I left my good black bra and my good black spanks at the hotel, like in the room somewhere, because I did not see it um, in my suitcase. Like, it's not there. And that's my good black bra, my good black spanks that I wear at work. Hey, 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 get, get, get back inside. Gate people are here, getting a quote for an automatic gate, y'all, this morning. First stop before I forget any more, is to go pick up my uniforms from the cleaners because your girl goes back to work tomorrow. And I haven't been for a trip yet, but I did look earlier and there is a four day trip on an open time that I probably wanna bid for because I'm good for six days. Look at that little baby. Oh my gosh. So stinking cute so cute <laughs> anyways i'm good for six days so i'm gonna try to bid for a four-day trip um and hopefully i get that but i need my uniform and then i also might even need to go to the crash pad to get the other uniforms because i think i only have one uniform at the cleaners <laughs> so yeah we'll see we'll see what i can figure out but let's go get those yeah, that's only the shacket and the pants. I could have swore I had a dress here. It might be in my closet. Um, and then I also don't know if I'm gonna drive down or fly down because once again, I'm good for six days off for one and then technically I work two more days and then the new month starts. I'm trying to drop those last two days. So I might need to drive down if I'm gonna be there for you know that longer period of time. Um, but we'll figure that out today after 2 p.m. I mean, well, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, I just get a trip. Anyways, next stop is I need to go to Office Depot. I need to hold. On, let me let me try to put my thing back up here because they took it down. Why I don't know, and I need to put it back up. Okay, so. That's done, and I just need to go sit down somewhere and like actually upload them. I'm looking at printers. I don't really need a printer printer though. I really don't print that much stuff. Usually when I'm doing showings, I'll print out my listings, but I really don't have to print them out. It just depends, but you never know. I'm just looking at the cost of these things and they're like ranging from, okay, Here's one for 150, 129. I just need basic Bluetooth, but you know, I might need one that this is wireless, copy, scan, and fax. Who still faxes? Oh, look, 
There's <laughs> one for $80. Okay. 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 That's more my price point right there. Wireless copy scan, photo quality, and fax, mobile printing, auto document feed, auto two side, extra tray. All right. I put a new one back up here because this one just, I don't know. I'm assuming I parked at, of course, Avail, where I always park at the rent place, the drop your car off and rent it or whatever place. And I'm assuming they took this down just because, like, look at look at that. Like, it wouldn't fall down like that, would it, with that, like, gaping hole? But I don't know why they took it down. And now I don't even know how to get... <sighs> whatever. It's always something. Maybe some goo gone or something will get that down. Cause it looks ugly now. But yeah, let's go to the mall. We're gonna go to Dillard's and Bra Shop. Um, the only reason I'm not like upset about leaving the bra is because I've been needing a new work bra. Um, yes, I have a specific bra that I like to work in. You know, it's a little more modest. Um, but yeah, I've been needing a new one. But I haven't been wanting to buy one because I'm losing weight. What in the heck? This car like did not scoot up in the parking spot enough. Then I got both of these big old <clears throat> diesel trucks that I was smashed in between that came after me. I didn't park there with them both there. Um, anyways. Yeah, I'm not too upset about having to purchase a new bra because I've been telling myself I need a new bra, but I've been telling myself, well, wait, Alexia, wait, you're going to lose some weight. You know, when you lose the weight, then the boobies are going to get smaller and blah, 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 blah. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. But I am upset that I left them Spanx because those were my good Spanx. All right, y'all. Finally made it into Dillard's. Just a little FYI, a little fun fact. This was my first job once I graduated college. I did my internship, my degree is in fashion merchandising. I did my internship at this Dillard's and once I got hired from the internship, I was the manager of the lingerie department or the intimates and apparels department. Fun fact. Out of luck, y'all. Didn't find a thing <laughs> in my size. So I might just have to go online and order. But it's 12 o'clock. I need a bit for work before I can get them to go sit down. And, and of course, there is no coming to the mall without stopping through to Zara. But do I need these? They're cute. Price is 30. I don't have any sandals like this. I like these. Yeah, that'll work. That's good. Just keeping it simple. All right, nails are done. Just kept them very simple. Simple. Now I'm just waiting for my massage. And oh, this is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. tell y'all I have been going to Byron for years probably since like my mid 20s uh, and he's just so lit like oh he's so good he get the look he, he has all these little fan dangly tools and he just be working things out I tell you like my legs and stuff had been so so sore um a couple I think this is like during December during vlogmas yeah it was during December if y'all were watching Vlogmas, I had pulled a muscle. I had pulled my hamstring in my right leg. And it had still just been like when trying to work out, like it was still, you know, sore. Like I could feel just like the tightness. Baby. You rubbed that thing right on out. Was, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> that was great. If y'all are on the 
I mean, if you're in Houston and you want to hit up Byron, go. He did also tell me he was about to start traveling to Dallas, so that might be something y'all are interested in. His prices are very reasonable. I mean, I believe they're very reasonable. Um, yeah, he's on the northwest side of Houston, though. Anyways, I got my schedule for tomorrow. I did not get the trip that I wanted, but I did get a trip. My report time tomorrow is at like 1.55 p.m., so, three legs, four legs, one leg. You ain't gonna work your girl. <laughs> but it is what it is. It is what it is. So, I'm headed home now. It's 4.30 now. I'm gonna go let the dogs out of the garage. They've been poor babies. They've been in there. We do leave, like, the garage cracked at the bottom. So, it's not like they're just sitting in a hot garage. You know, it's not like that. But, you know, they like their freedom. So, I'm gonna go let them out for a couple of hours. And um, and uh, then we have another showing at 7.30 tonight. So, have to leave again. Yeah. <sighs> I think I can take a nap. I was just trying to decide if I'm going to drive tomorrow or fly. But then I remembered I'm moving out of the crash pad. I don't have a lot of stuff, but I do have all my uniforms there. Um, so I think I'm gonna just drive. Something in my soul is telling me to drive. And when my soul tells me to do something, I follow. All right, me and the dogs gonna get in this quick nap. Yeah, and get up at six o'clock. Stop barking, I'll be back. Oh, completely forgot that I needed to go grocery shopping, y'all. I want to, um... <clears throat> I want to meal prep for this trip. Um, I think I have a three day trip. It wasn't even a four day that they gave me. But I do want to meal prep. So I'm gonna run to the grocery store. It's 7 p.m. ish, 7, 7.04. We have the showing at 7.30. Hopefully by the time I'm done grocery shopping, I can come back home and they'll be gone. Oh, this is exhausting. Yeah, I just let's go to HEB. I haven't been to HEB in a good little bit. Decided to come to Whole Foods because y'all remember they have um, those meals that I like. These right here, y'all. Fire, fire. Wait, where's the blue one? <gasps> The ranch ones, not these, these are beets. I don't want no, ah, 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 ah. oh no, I mean too salt, yeah. Yeah, shopping at Whole Foods, like, oh my uniforms are sitting in the car. Shopping at Whole Foods is like, <sighs> discouraging. <laughs> it's so expensive, like, it is so expensive. And although I always try to remind myself that, you know, just buy some food and take it with me because if I was to eat out two and a half meals per flight attendant trip, that would add up rather, why does my car smell like that? That would add up really quickly. But y'all, Mm -mm. I, I really gotta start cooking like I gotta start cooking <laughs> good morning good people happy Thursday it is later than it should be and I'm like I didn't set my alarm last night I just allowed myself to naturally wake up so I woke up at 7 which is amazing like that that is a good amount of sleep I went to sleep probably right before midnight or so or maybe earlier so that is a good night. So that is a good night's rest. Love that. I was not disturbed by the dogs. Um, so now I'm just uh, packing a little confused as to why it is cold in St. Louis, Missouri. The low is 30. The high is 50. And that's where my overnight is tonight. And then X and A the next day. Um, little Rock, Arkansas. So I'm just trying to pack up my bag real quick. I think I told y'all that I'm going to drive down um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna drive. And so I need to be at the house by, I need to be at the house by nine. <laughs> So I can give myself some time just in case there's any, you know, random traffic and things of that nature. So, um, I speak to God in public shirt. And I think all I'm packing are like these bargain shorts, spandexy. I get all of these from Zara and I absolutely love them. So if it's cold, I'm just not going to leave the hotel. I brought my food. I'm bringing my food. So I don't really have any reason to be out in nobody's streets. Mm. All right, y'all. <laughs> Leaving 30 minutes later than plans. That will get me to Dallas at 1.15. And my report time is at 1.55. Yep, we're pushing it. We are pushing it. But, but let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all. I shaved off about 20 minutes on the drive to Dallas because at one point I was like, well, I'm going to have to just drive straight to the airport and change my clothes when I get there. Um, but luckily, and I really wasn't speeding, speeding. I was just driving fast. Where's my dress? Okay. Uh, yeah, let me get my clothes on. I made it, y'all. Oh, it's been a long day. Did the drive, went to the crash pad, changed, left, got to the airport just in time, worked the three flights. It was a smooth day. Now we're here in St. Louis and I'm about to go to bed. But that is what this Thursday consisted of. But I was just looking at my back, y'all. Like, y'all see how red it is? Like, y'all, I'm sure, I hope y'all can see that. It looks like <laughs> I have been battered and abused, but that is from my massage yesterday. Byron um, does cupping to get, how do you, what's the word, fascia? I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Basically, like, just to loosen that up, you know? Because I'm always, always super tight. Like, that's nothing new. But especially because I haven't been working out like I'm supposed to. I'm even more tight. So he got my back and my neck real good with the cup. Fascia. I think fascia is a thin casing of connective tissue that surrounds and holds every organ. Blood vessel, bone, nerve fiber, and muscle. This tissue does more than provide internal structure. Fascia has nerves that makes it almost as sensitive as skin. So what causes fascia to tighten? Lack of activity will cement the once supple fiber into place. Chronic stress causes the fibers to thicken and attempt to protect underlying muscle. Poor posture and lack of flexibility. Repetitive movements repetitive movements pull the fascia into ingrained patterns so anyways that's what fascia is and they always talk about that you need to stretch to loosen up the fascia and da 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 all of that right so byron takes that cup and it's really like a, a suction cup and like it sucks you know it sucks up your skin to like loose to loosen up the fascia but yesterday, usually he just kind of leaves it on in spots, like puts a couple on my back and like lets it suck up and lets it just sit there for a minute. But yesterday, he took the fascia cup while it was like sucking and was like moving it. It was like the best pain ever. <laughs> like y'all know, like when some pains, like you know the pain is just good for you. Like it hurt. But, like, I was, like, as he was moving there, I could just feel the release. So, anyways, and he did it. I think I told y'all I had pulled the handy. Um, so, he did it to my legs, too. And, whoo, baby, this, that thing don't feel tight no more. Don't feel tight no more. So, yeah, anyways, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Hey, y'all. It is Saturday. Well, it's 12 17 midnight a.m sunday morning whatever uh i had the longest day flying yesterday 
Today wasn't so bad. I'm in Evansville, Indiana, and I'm about to go to bed. I'm a line holder for the month of May. Yay! And I dropped all my trips. <laughs> because I just cannot, like, I can't have another month like um, the end of March and beginning of April was. Like, it was too much. And I have a lot to do via real estate for the month of May. So, as soon as I was able to drop them trips... I dropped every single last one of them just so my schedule can be completely open. And um, if I have any, you know, available time, downtime, then I'll pick up a trip and go to work um, on my terms. <laughs> so that's why I do enjoy being a flight attendant when that flexibility kicks in. It really is amazing. But just wanted to thank y'all for watching another week in the life. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm enjoying doing them. I know these vlogs are not going up as quickly or as often as I would like them to or probably as often as you all would like them to. Uh, my freaking camera broke too, which I, I usually vlog with my phone anyway like I'm doing right now. But sometimes I like to use my camera and it, I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to buy a new vlog camera. Maybe that'll be a birthday gift to myself. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye.